Hi, this is Sherry Lee, and you're watching Picasbird. <laughs> Holy crap, were we excited for what Pokemon would be doing for its 20th anniversary. When we saw the Direct, we were in love with what we saw, and we didn't know whether it was Gen 6.5 or Gen 7. Obviously, judging by the title of the video, it was the latter, but that doesn't matter! This game was the one that truly broke away from the norm. We have no gyms, no badges, sort of. But we'll get to that, and we have an important story as well. Let's not waste any time and get into it. Take it away, Robbie Rot. Don't let your kids watch it. So this game starts with Sun in the male character, or Moon as the female character, preparing to move to the Alola region from Kanto, where in an undetermined location, a girl named Lily just warped out of the area by her Pokemon Cosmon. Three months later, you meet the professor of this game, Kukui who tells you to find Melamele's Kahuna, guardians chosen by the Tapus, who are the guardians of the four Alola region, uh, region islands, blah. You don't find him, but instead you find Lily. She asks you to save Nebi, the Cosmog, as Spiro attack it. You do, because let's be honest, these two will become your wife and kid. No joke. You go to protect Nebi on the nearest busted bridge as Nebi tries to help, only to break the bridge. Well, that was a short-ass game. Oh, it's not over? Nice. The Guardian of Mela Mela at Tapu Koko not only saves you, but leaves you a sparkling stone. You two walk back to Iki Town and meet the Kahuna, Hala, and receive either a Rowlet, a grass flying type soon to be grass ghost, Litten, who you never want fully evolved, and Popplio, who you want to evolve immediately. You're told that you should do the island challenge as Lily shows you around Melamela Island. After you get your sparkling stone back as a Z-Ring, you're on your way to face Team Skull, who are complete jokes. After you go through the normal type trial and the fighting grand trial, you go to a college to take on the water, fire, and grass trials and the rock grand trial. This is where you'll get invited to the Aether Foundation, an organization put to protecting Pokemon from the thieving Team Skull. This is where you'll notice Lily deciding to split from you and, um, uh... Hey, Nepgear, who's how again? As you'll go on your island challenge, you'll meet Team Skull's enforcer, Gladian, who isn't as villainous as he seems. Anyways, at the Aether Foundation, you meet Faba, Wick, and the President, Lusamine. She seems nice, but then there's an unknown Pokemon that arrives, and it seems that Lusamine wants it. That smirk scares me. Either way, afterwards, you and, um, how? Go to the third island, Ula Ula, home of the Electric Trial and the Ghost Trial. This is also home to Team Skull of Po Town, as you go to there in order to save a Pokemon, only to realize it was a trap as Lily, who is also on the island, and Nebby are taken to the Aether Foundation. It's at this moment where Gladian's true colors show. Gladian's been telling both Sun and How to keep Nebby safe, and he agrees that the two, I mean, three of you storm Aether, but because how is late, that gives us time to battle the police card of Bowtown and Acerola's uncle, the Kahuna of Ula Ula, to finish the dark type grand trial. Sun and Gladian storm Aether as he tells why he has a special type null. 
This Pokemon was made to battle alien life forms such as that unidentified Pokemon from before. Big Bad Guzma isn't our main villain here, as it's actually Lusamine, who wants to use Cosmog's power to open up a wormhole to the Ultra Beast dimension to meet that UFP. After you battle her, she and Guzma escape as she opens the portal, leaving behind what looks to be an evolution of Cosmog. Thankfully, Wick, being the only Aether employee we can trust at the moment, informs us that there is a way of finding a way to the Ultra Beast world, as this lets Ultra Beast into the Alola region. She says since Lily has one of the flutes, they need to find the other flute, the Sun slash Moon flute, which is on Pony Island. Lily prefers her own Z form as she looks the part of a trainer with clothes that she bought early on. You go on to Executor Island to find the other flute while getting information from the new Kahuna and battling her to complete the Ground Grand Trial. So, you're technically done with the original quest at this point, but we still need to go through Pony Canyon to get to the altar of Sun or Moon to play the flutes as Cosmog evolves into the box legendary of Sun, Solgaleo, or Moon's legendary Lunala. Sun, Lily, and Nebby create a portal to the Ultra Beast homeworld as you have a confrontation with Lusamine and her new children, who she calls Neolego. One of the Neolego take over Lusamine, which powers up all of her Pokemon, as you have one last fight which separates Neolego from Lusamine, but also potentially knocks her out. With Aether dealt with, Sun remembers that Kukui wanted to make a Pokemon League as you challenge it with one last fight with your rival Gladian. Oh, and also Howe's there too. After you fight the Elite Four, which consists of Hala, Olivia, Acerola, and another Island Challenge champ, Kahili, you beat them as you are awarded the championship title, only to then be challenged by Kukui himself, as you take your rightful place as champion. Lily basically confirms shipping with Sun as the two of you go back to where it all began, as Tapu Koko challenges you to a final battle, in which he is caught. What a nice, refreshing change of pace. Honestly, this game's story is miles better than what Black and White tried to accomplish, and I think that's actually succeeding with how they handled the story this time. There's even a post-game story that actually continues where this story left off, sort of like Aura as an XY, but done better than XY, and sort of better than Aura as not, not really per se, but... Either way, this game's story is excellent. The graphics of this game are very similar to X and Y in two ways, as it's a 3D Pokemon game in the very vibrant colors. But there is something completely different. The fact that there are no more chibis. Everybody in the game is the height they should be, meaning you are no longer a small chibi form of your character. Which is actually really nice. Unfortunately, this took a sec back in your player's expression. In this whole game, you're just this smiling expression. And at times, it's completely laughable, while at other times, it can be unsettling. Son, come on! Aliens are entering the Alola region, so stop smiling and show some emotion! The basic gameplay is the same as other Pokemon games. It's turn-based. You have four moves to choose from to attack, Use your bag to use items, switch out your Pokemon, or if you're in the wild, straight up get the hell out of there. Though Mega Evolution is still in this game, you have to beat the game in order to get it. The main focus of the game are Z-moves. After you complete a trial, you will receive that respective Z-move. They're basically the game's badges. You can put these items on your Pokemon and give them a superpower move, but you can only use one per battle, just like Mega Evolution. And some Pokemon, like the Starters, Pikachu, the Alolan Raichu, Snorlax, Eevee, and later on Marshadow, have their own Z-Crystals as well, thus having their own exclusive Z-Moves. I think this is actually a pretty neat feature used and can certainly help against Totem Pokemon, the bosses of these trials. Another thing added to this game is Zygarde cell collecting. Cena and... I forget that other thing. I shall cut you up with They weren't very important in the last game, but they are back, and they decide to give you a Zygarde cube as they decide to enlist you as helping them find all the Zygarde cells on Alola. 
There's a hundred of them, and once you collect all a hundred, you can enact Zygarde's three forms. The 50% form that you caught in Talos, the 10% form, and the ultimate form, the 100% form. It's basically like Dragon Ball Z, except I haven't watched Dragon Ball Z, so I can't tell you about that. As we go back to the bosses of these trials, they get a boost in a certain stat, and are usually in a Lola exclusive, like schooling form wishy-washy for the water type trial or mimic you for the ghost trial and they usually decide to call on a helper pokemon normally a pre-evolution as a partner which introduces sos battles which can happen by the use of adrenaline orbs to call rare pokemon to your side speaking of which this is actually how you can catch a level 10 dragonite and a level 10 salamence no joke check the gts it's a thing Anyways, while the normal trial has you facing three caved young goose, the water type trial has you fishing for wishy washies. This is what I like about this game. All of the quote unquote gyms has something completely different to offer as you're using a different strategy each time. Such as the fire type trial, which is actually kind of interesting as you have to find the difference in the ending dances leading to a fight against the totem Salazzle. The grass type trial has you finding ingredients to call out a totem Lorantis. The electric trial has you answering questions in the dark and fighting a totem Vickavolt. The ghost trial has you snapping picks with your Pokemon Snap Go of ghost types, leading to a totem Mimikyu. And while the dragon type trial is just a boring walk and fighting Pokemon, it shows the presence as the lost trial because there is no trial captain here. There is, however, a trial captain in Alola's Pony Island, but she doesn't really do much of anything, really. So she's kind of forgotten until the post game. Kind of sad, actually. Honestly speaking, this game is phenomenal! If it's not for how they've updated the Pokemon formula, it's for the amazing Pokemon, including the region. My favorites being Mimikyu, Primarina, Wishiwashi, Delmize, Tapu Koko, Kartana, Neolego. So many I can't count them all. Well, all 81 of them. Either way, do yourself a favor and pick this game up. And look at that. It's almost March. And you know what that means, so I'll see you for that.